and we are full of joy at the same time. Once man corrects you, when man corrects you, you start to feel bad. That's man. And we are men. But we his correction is always good. The love, the goodness of God bring to repentance. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Let's clap for Jesus. I believe God is with us this morning. I believe God is with us. I believe God is with us this morning. I believe it. I believe it. Hallelujah. Let's see what our sister to help us in the Bible reading. Bible reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Bless the name of Adonai forever. Okay, Psalm 112. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth Yahweh, but delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright, there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed. Trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed. He hath given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man that fear the Lord. Amen. I greatly delight in his command. His seed, his seed shall be mighty. The wealth and riches shall be in his house. So when you see your house, but it's not full of that, what do you call You call it for because I fear the Lord, wealth and riches, blessings and prosperity shall be in my house. Amen. Amen. Ratin, can you come and just pray over the message before we go continue? Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Um, if you'll just bow your head with me this morning as we go before the Lord. Father, we just thank you for another opportunity to come together in your house and to worship you, to serve you, to bring to remembrance all that you've gotten us through throughout this past week. And now, Lord, as we are preparing our hearts and minds to hear the word that your servant, Pastor David, is going to bring, Lord, we just thank you that we know that the words that will be spoken will be new seed poured into our hearts. And we just believe, God, that it will grow and flourish and lead us into things that we've never thought of or can even dream of because we know, God, you are a great God, always blessing and guiding and always looking upon us and leading our paths. So this morning, Lord, we pray that you will just have your way in this service. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's clap for Jesus. Amen. Come on. Let's clap for Jesus. Rejoice evermore. And I say again, what? Rejoice. Rejoice, Rejoice in the Lord always. How many times? Always. 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 Rejoice in the Lord always. always. All the time rejoice. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We are rejoicing all the time. Because with that joy, we draw out of the well of salvation. Yes. We draw out of the well of salvation. God has something for us today. Today is the beginning, first Sunday of the new month. Yes. Amen. Amen. And this month, the Lord said he will perfect everything that concerns you. Amen. And we say it. God will perfect everything that concerns me this morning. You will perfect everything that concerns me this morning. I believe it. I declare with my mouth and I receive it in the name of Jesus. Everything is perfect tonight this morning in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're talking about restoration and recovery. Restoration and recovery. We will recover all. Amen. I say you will recover all. Amen. Everything that the enemy has stolen from you, you will recover all. Amen. It will restore back to you everything that the enemy has stolen from you. Amen. And you are going to recover all. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Recover all and restoration. Amen. Recover all and restoration. Let's take our first Bible reading from Psalm 23. A popular psalm. We read it every Sunday here after the Sabbath. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside what? The still waters. He restores my soul. He do what? He restores my soul. He do what? He restores my soul. Amen. So he restores. So be restored. You know, when you have a phone that is not good and you take it to the shop, you tell them, please help me to restore this phone back to factory people. And they remove all the virus, all the junks, all the things that is in the memory. They remove everything and they give you a new phone. Say, Your phone is now what? Restored. Sure. The same way our heart, our soul, every emotional wound, every Disappointment, every failure that we are carrying around, every bitterness that is in our soul, every thought of disappointment and failure and setback that is full of our soul. God said, I will restore you back to back. Amen. Amen. In the beginning, after He created everything and He created man, He said, Behold, they are very good. He's restoring you back to very good. Amen. 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 Everything that is not good in you, and it's not good, and it's not representing God in you, they are being removed today in the name of Jesus. They are being removed today. Everything that is not good, restore. You restore my soul. Let's think about that scripture very well. When you restore it, maybe it's damage, bad, physical damage, emotional damage, relationship damage. There are some relationships have been damaged, family damage. Even body damage is restoring us today Amen. in the name of Jesus. He's restoring us today yes. in the name of Jesus. That is the voice of the Spirit in the atmosphere. I will release it out now. Restoration. Your mind is being restored. Your life is being restored. Hallelujah. Your destiny is being restored. So back to factory feet. In the beginning, in Genesis chapter 1, everything was very good. Amen. Amen. Things are not good. God is removing them now. Every devil. He said, when the, when the man planted the tree, the, the, the seed, enemy come to sow tears in the rain. In, in, in the, well, he said, you father, I have not planted this. I have not planted this. Why is this tears going? He said, don't worry. Every tree that my Lord has not planted, they shall be what? Uprooted. In your life, they have been uprooted now. Amen. Everything that God has not planted, evil tears in your life, evil seed in your life, they have been removed now Amen. in the name of Jesus. To this month, it's a month of restoration. Amen. God is going to restore you. Amen. Restore your family. Amen. Your relationship. Amen. Your children. Amen. All those things that you have been crying all about. God is promised this month, I will restore you back. Amen. 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 I will restore you. Amen. I will restore you, says the Lord. Amen. I will restore you. Jeremiah 30. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 30. Let's start from verse 16. 16 and 17. 30. 30, 16 and 17. <clears throat> Amen. Summary. Therefore, all those who devour you, mm -hmm. you shall be devoured. Everyone that devour you shall be devoured. Amen. Amen. Continue, sir. And all your adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. All your adversaries, they are going into captivity. Continue, sir. Those who plunder you shall become plunder. Don't spoil you. You will spoil them. 
and all who pray upon you, I will make a prayer. All that pray upon you, I will pray upon them. God says it concerning you this morning. Amen. 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 Just believe this is the word of God for you. Believe this is what I've got for you this morning. Brother, continue, sir. Amen. Amen. For I will restore health to you. I will you. restore health to you. Continue. And heal you of your wounds. I, I will heal your wounds. Saying the Lord. Say the Lord. Because they called you an outcast, saying, hmm. This is Zion. No one seeks her. Amen. <laughs> they call you an outcast. This is Zion. No one seeks her. But I am going to restore you. I care for you. I love you. I am thinking about you. I have the best plans for you. I'm for you. I'm not against you. Amen. Amen. So they call you an outcast. Zion. No one seek after. But today I'm telling you, God is restoring. No matter what you have done, no matter what they have done, no matter who is against you, no matter who is not against you, who love you, who don't love you, God has promised and has vowed to do it for you. And I see him doing it in your life this morning. Amen. I'm seeing him changing your life, decorating you. Amen. 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 You are not here by accident. Yeah. And you're not hearing this word by accident. We are hearing from any part of the world. Mm-hmm. It's this destiny for you to hear. So you can move to the next level. Amen. 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 So when his word came, the king sent for him. Your word is coming this morning. Amen. And when his word came, the kingdom sent for him. And they made him ruler of the people. They are sending for you. Amen. Amen. Your word is coming. And they are sending for you. Amen. God is placing you where you belong. Amen. Amen. See, I will heal your wounds. I will heal your wounds. I will heal your health. Everything that is not well in your life. Your relationship is not looking well. Your family is not looking well. Every wound that you have had in the past, I will restore your lost glory back to you. Amen. 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 Lost opportunities, I will restore them. Your relationship will restore her. Amen. Amen. Your career, your business, your finances. Stop crying. Stop mourning. Stop complaining. It's time for recovery. Amen. Amen. It's time to recover her. It's time to what? To recover all. It's time to recover all. The team is, God is the one, the one that is putting no problem on you. The team has come to do what? To steal, to kill, and destroy. The team, the team, which is the devil, he has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he has come, he said, I have come to give you life. This is what I came to do. To give you life. Assurance. Oh, peace. Joy. To make a joy full. That's what I came to do. But thief is the one that came to steal your joy, steal your peace, steal your children, steal your husband, steal your wife, steal your, what belongs to you. Your destiny. That is what the thief, the thief came to do, which is the devil. Oh. But I have come to give you life and give you that life in abundance. Yeah, yeah. That's what he came to do for us. Amen. It's not the stealer. Amen? Amen. It's not the stealer. It's the giver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give of life. Give out peace. Yeah. Give out joy. Yeah. So he's giving you that joy every day. Well, it was meant for evil, it's meant for good. Amen. He's giving you that joy every day. Joy every day. We said it. Without joy, you cannot receive nothing from the Lord. Anything that will steal your joy will steal your destiny. Amen. Rejoice. Amen. Hello. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything all right? Second Corinthians 4. Let's go to 2. Second Corinthians number 2. Second Corinthians 2. Chapter 2, yes, sir. We start from verse 14. Mm-hmm. Amen. Now thanks be to God who mm-hmm. always leads us in Piram and Christ. And through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are no, no, let's stop there for a while. I want the gospel translation, please. This one says, Thanks be to God who always, how many times? Always. always. What does always mean? Always. Always mean always. All the time. Amen. Amen. Always causes us to triumph. He always causes us to triumph in Christ in every place we go. And our victory.
victory is like the fragrance that show our triumphant, our victory. Amen. Amen. Always, always cause us to win. Always. God's word translation, please. For I thank God mm. who always leads us in victory because of Christ. He always leads us in victory because of Christ. Always. Continue, man. Wherever we go, mm. God uses us to make clear what it means to know Christ. Wherever we go, wherever we step in, God make us to make sure clear what it means to be in Christ, to follow Jesus, our life, our victory, things that accompany our life. is the reflections of how to follow Christ. Continue, man. It's like a fragrance that fills the air. It's like the fragrance that fills the air. Always. Always, always winning, always triumphing. That is the God that we serve. Right? Verse 16. God, let's, let's, let's go. Let's, let's go. We are the savor of death unto death, and to the other, the savor of life unto life. Amen. Because to some that are perishing, we are the savor of death. Amen. Just remember that. Amen. Amen. So he causes us to win all the time. Amen. Everywhere we go, victory, victory, yes, victory, always. victory, victory. Victory indeed. So know that win one and lose one. Excuse me. Amen. Win one and lose one. Maybe, ah, okay, we never know what can happen. Maybe we can win today and lose tomorrow. That is not what. He said he always. Always. Amen. Amen. Always. Not that sometimes we win. Sometimes we lose. Sometimes we get a victory. Sometimes you don't get a victory. No. Win, win, win. Some people say win one and lose one. No, that is not what he said. No. Always winning. Always triumphing. Always victory. No matter what the enemy threw at you. No matter what the enemy threw at you. Let this might be in you. That is in Christ. That you are always winning. And it's going to help for your good. You are going to win. He said, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, yeah. but the Lord deliver them from them all, oh, from all of them, all of them, not one, Amen. not sometimes. All of them. Let this mindset be in our life. No matter what the enemy throws, no matter what the challenge you are going through right now, just know that it's going to help my God. It's going to help my God. I'm going to win all the time. Someone that was meant to die. It was in the past days. Everything the Lord is not working. Things are not working in the system. And he seek the Lord. And he served the Lord. And he lived to almost 80 years old and preaching the gospel all over the place. Should have died before he was 15 years old. But the man is preaching all over the world and standing from a God because he turned to God. If that person, God can answer that person, you are not different. God is not a stop person. If you seek him and follow him, and seek him and follow him and search for him. The way that person search for him, you will enjoy the same blessing. Amen. 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 You will enjoy the even more. Your own case is not even worse as that person's case. Amen. Amen. Your case is not as worse as that person's case. Just know that God is for you. And this thing works. The word of God works. Always make us to win, not one time for the other. Always cause us to win. So no more failure. Failure is not an option. But when you are failing, when it's, it seems that it is not working, just know. Be rest assured that you are going to win. It's going to help for my God. No matter what the enemy is doing, it's going to help for my God. I don't know how God will do it. I'm not going to scheme out God will do it. I'm going to trust in the Lord and stand on his word and watch him bringing me out. Watch him. Rescue him. Rescue me. Watch him helping me and lifting me up. I watch him doing this. I don't scheme. Try to be ahead of somebody else. Try to do something and make myself look no. I just follow him. I just live my life the way he wants me to live it and do my own part and watch him perfect him. That's nothing I can do to make it happen on my own power. But I trust him. He will do it for me. He will do it. Mother who like me, who don't like me, 
Who like the way I talk? Who don't like the way I talk? No matter who hates me, God will do it. Because I'm trusting him. I'm trusting him. I'm trusting him. I'm trusting him. Just put your trust in the Lord. He will always. There's another scripture I love so much. First Corinthians 15. First Corinthians 15. Just be, just slip back a little bit. 1557. 1557. Go ahead. Amen. Amen. But thanks be to God who yeah. gives us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So you have victory. Thanks be to God who gives me victory through my Lord Jesus. No matter what. In the middle of that challenge, that trouble, that, that turmoil, that health issue, that family problem, that leadership problem, that career problem. You say, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Who give me victory? Amen. Who give me victory? Through my Lord Jesus. I give you thanks because I know victory is mine. Victory is mine today in Jesus. Amen? Amen. Victory is mine. I got victory. Amen. Amen. It's a place in the Bible says, in all these things, we are more than conqueror. Amen. In all these things, challenge come, trouble come, calamity come. They say things about you, they say bad things, and they say good things. Everything was coming. He said, In all these things, we are what? We are more than conqueror. We are more than conqueror. Who is the conqueror? The conqueror is the winner. Yes. But if you are more than conqueror, you win and you are bringing many people to win with you. Amen. Amen. You are teaching many people how to win as well. Come in. I'm going to teach you how to win. Come in. You are your child. God has helped me to fight my own battle. He will help you to fight your own too. Come in. Let me teach you. Look at what I did. Do the same thing. And let's see the victory in your life. And so as the person, you get the victory. 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 Everybody's getting the victory. I got the victory too. Everybody begins to get the victory. More than conqueror. Spread the victory. He don't keep the victory to himself. Amen. Amen. He's spreading victory. Mm -hmm. You don't even fight with your own body. Say, he's the one that helped you to fight the battle. Say, he's the one that teach my hands to walk and my finger to battle. Say, he'll fight for me and I'll hold my peace. So he fight for me. He gave me the victory. And I say, and I, I look at Sammy and say, Sammy, God fought for me. He gave me the victory. Let me show you how he fought for me. And now he gave me the victory. And Sammy too trust in the Lord. Sammy do, do the same thing. And Sammy say, oh, I want the victory. And Sammy say, Brad Timothy, oh, look at what God did for me. God helped me. He, he fought for me. And he gave me the victory. Let me show you. And Brad Timothy got the victory. And he got to Stalinia. Oh, he's Stalinia. Oh, he fought for me. He gave me the victory. Brad Natalia, he fought for me. He gave me the victory. Come on, enjoy. Yeah. And then the, the victory begin to spread. Begin to spread. Yeah. From one small victory. Yeah. Become a big mindset. Amen. That's a modern conqueror. Yes, man. That's a modern conqueror. Yes. That's a modern conqueror. Oh, yes. If you don't keep the victory to yourself, spread it for the Amen. Amen. In all these things, in all these things, we are more than conqueror to Christ as Christ is us. Amen. He loved us more than conqueror. He said, let's look at Isaiah 25. Isaiah 25, verse 8. He will swallow up death forever. He will swallow up death forever in victory. And the Lord God will wipe, will wipe away tears from all faces. Mm. The rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. Amen. The Lord has spoken. He said, I'm going to wipe away all tears for the people. All your tears, it will take over. Your reproach, it will, it will, it will remove from you. He said, God has spoken. No more untimely death. Amen. Amen. No more evil in your family. Amen. No more tears and shame and reproach. The Lord has spoken it. Amen. The Lord has spoken it. 
you will do it. You will do it. You will do it. Let's move to Joel now. Amen. God is helping us this morning. Joel number two. Joel number two. Verse 25. Let's start from 23. Joel 2, 23. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Be glad. Then. Your children of Zion mm. and rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice your God. in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain faithfully. Mm. And he will cause the rain to come down for you. Amen. The former rain. Mm. And the latter rain in the first month. Yes. The threshing floor shall be full of wheat. The threshing floor shall be full of wheat. And the beds shall overflow with new wine. If we oil. can wash our overflow with the new wine. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, mm. the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. Mm. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has who has dealt wondrously with you mm. and my people shall never be put out to shame and my people shall not be put to shame Amen. Amen. you will have plenty to eat i will restore everything that is one locals your, your family challenge your trouble has caused you no setbacks in the past you see i'm going to restore them back then you will hit them plenty i'll be satisfied I praise the name of the Lord who has done wondrous thing with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. My people will not be put to shame. That's what God is saying concerning you. No more shame. Amen. It's time to restore. Amen. It's time to restore. Amen. To get those things back. Amen. To recover those things back. Amen. 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 And if you don't fight for it and believe for it, it's going to happen. Faith comes by what? By hearing. Amen. By hearing. So God wants you to get them back, but you want to hear them and believe them and stand for them and keep expecting them to happen. And there you can get them. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. Verse 13 through 17. Sing, O heavens. Mm -hmm. Be joyful, O air, mm. and break out in singing, mm. O mountains. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have mercy on his afflicted. Amen. Sing. Rejoice for what the Lord is about to do for you now. Say, so has comforted his people. Amen. Let's continue. But Zion say, mm. the Lord has forsaken me, and my Lord has forgiven me. He said, God. With all this, you look at my life. God has forgotten me. God has forsaken me. I'm an outcast. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. I'm just alone. Look at what God says about you now. Let's go. Continue. Can a woman forget her nursing child mm -hmm. and not have compassion on the son of her womb? Mm -hmm. Surely they may forget. Mm -hmm. Yet I will not forget you. He said, he was comparing it to a love of a mother to a baby that he just had. He said, they are women, they may forget. But me, my love for you, past that kind of love. Amen. My love for you is beyond that kind of love. He said, they may forget. But what I will do for you, can you, can you continue, sir? Amen. See, I have verse 16. See, mm -hmm. I have described you on the palm of my hands. Mm -hmm. Your walls are continually before me. He said, you are my, in my hand. I'm washing over you every day. You can see, just imagine yourself in the hand of the Almighty God. I've seen it in a, in, a, in a dream before. There was a war in a place, in a little place in Africa, and I was inside that war. I have to be there that period. Because the place is I'm that place. I was in that place, and I, I was a dream. In the middle of that war, I saw myself and the little one that was with me, my uncle children. I saw the walls in his hand. I had that dream, it was so clear to me. I know that nothing can for us. And I said, he said, nothing will happen to this children. Amen. I saw my in his hand, little bit, almost my little in his head, tiny in his hand, so massive. 
I saw this control. Mercy were in his hand. And I woke up in that morning. I smiled. And we are hearing gunshots. Boom. Boom. We are our house. Everywhere. And I said, we are in his hands. Yeah. We are in his hands. Yeah. We are in his hands. Yeah. I was coming back from, I, I was in the college. I was coming from the college to go and meet my children. My uncle died and I have to get that period. So I will be coming back home to come and meet my cousins home and I will be going home. I will be passing the people to walk, they are carrying guns and everything. And they say, oh, we know him, he's the son of that man that just died. He just asked me to pass. The warriors. I will be passing in their midst. They will know him, let me pass. Because that day I saw myself in his hands. So I was just going home with confidence that I saw myself in his hands. Nothing can be for me. Amen. He showed me that vision for me to be calling. And do not be afraid. And I was so encouraged that period. No fear. Yeah. Amen. So he has him inscribed us in his hands. We are in his hands. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. God is for you. Yeah. God is with you. Yeah. God is on your side. Oh, yeah. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Amen. He will never let you down. Yeah. To put his trust in you. So you is washing over you. You are not forgotten. You are not forsaken. It might look like that. But you are not. Amen. You are not. Yeah. I'm not forsaken. I'm not forgotten. You remember me all the time. Amen. Amen. That's how our, our song. I'm not forgotten. I'm not forsaken. I'm not forgotten. I'm not forsaken. Because you will never forget me. You will never, never Never leave you alone. No. It's on my side. And it's for me. It's on my side. And it's for me. And you say, it's for me. It's on my side. It's for me. Amen. Amen. Be convinced about that. I want us to look at the story of somebody in the Bible, David. The story of David. One day, they came to attack the family, his, his family, the city, and they took over everything that belonged. Mm -hmm. And David began to cry. And everybody began to cry. They took their wife, they took their possession, they took everything that belongs to them, and they began to cry. God, why? Why me? Why? And they began to cry. I cried. And God helped them. And they don't even know where these people left, whether it's north or south or east or not. But they just step out in faith, trusting God to lead them to the right place. And they found them and they recovered from them. Amen. Amen. Let's look at this. First Samuel 10. First Samuel number 10. Amen. Let's open the airport. First Samuel number 10. It's going to be a long story. We're going to start from verse 1. We're going to read it long. Amen. Amen. Then Samuel tells you verse 1. Then Samuel took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed. No, first Samuel tells you. First Samuel chapter 10. Tell you. Tell you. 30. Amen. Now it happened. Yes. David and his men came to Ziklag mm. on the third day that the Am Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag attacked the Ziklag and burned it with fire. Amen. So they attacked Ziklag where David and his people were living, the Amalekites. When they got there, they attacked it they invaded the place and burned the place with fire after they took over everything that belonged to them. Amen. In that place. Verse 2. And had taken and then taking captive the woman and those who were there from a small grave, they did not kill anyone, but carried them away and went their way. They stole everything that belonged to them. They didn't kill anybody. They carried their wife, their children, everything that belonged to them. And they took them away. Whatever the enemy has taken away from you, your family, your children, your wife, your whatever it is, God is going to give you back. Amen? Amen. Let's continue. So David and his men came to the city, mm. and there it was, burned with fire, 
and their wife, their son, and their daughter, and has been taken captive. He said their wife, their children, have been what? Taken captive. Whatever the enemy has taken that captive in your life, today they have been released in the name of Jesus. God is releasing them. Let's continue. Then David and the people who were with him lifted up their voices and mm -hmm. wept. And so they had no more power to weep. They weep and weep and weep and weep. Oh no, oh no. And they are looking as they're weeping. And they are weeping. And they fell down. They got tired. That is flesh. That was flesh to us when they have. That's all of us do. They are flesh. They were. Even David himself was. Amen. Amen. But if they continue weeping, did anything happen? Change? Let's continue. And David's two wives. Yes. I know and Jezreel Latis and Abigail, mm. the widow of Nabal, mm. the Carmelite, had been taken captive. Now David was greatly distressed, distressed, for the people spoke of the stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved. Okay, let's stop there for a while. Let's hold your hand in that place. David himself, his wife was taken away from him. He was part of this trouble. And he was distressed. He was weeping. And the people got angry. He says, David, you are the leader. You're supposed to have the assignment. You're supposed to know they are coming. And they think about stoning him. Amen? Amen. At times this happened in our life. Who want to stone you, they think you should know better because challenge happened to you. Why can't you see it? Why can't you know? You should have known better. You should have, ah, ah, and you call yourself pastor, and this is happening in your life. People think of that, they are stoning you, but they are saying those words. Look at your life, look at the way you behave. But challenge of life comes. They come on you, they come on them as well. But because you have oh, look at you, you should have known better. Why can't you know? You are a master. You say, God spoke to you. Where is that God in your life? You can't even see. And they want to stone you. But what happened to David? Let's continue. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Instead of David to be weary and scattered and keep crying and he, he encouraged himself. He encouraged himself in the law. If David has not encouraged himself in the law, they will all have been in darkness. And there is no direction in darkness. You can't receive direction in depression. Because it's darkness. So you can't receive way out of that trouble in depression. I'm feeling sad and keep crying. Joy comes. Because for you to encourage yourself in the Lord, you have some hope. Yes, I believe God. Yes, I have a God. Realize who He is in the Lord. He has a relationship with God. So He encourages Himself in the Lord. And the moment He encourages Himself in the Lord, lights. I say, lights are just coming. And that light can spread if you allow it. Let's continue. So, verse 7. Yeah. And David said to Abiathar, mm. the priest, Ahimelech's son, I mean, Ahimelech's son, mm. please bring the ear, ephod, here to me. And Abiathar brought the ephod to David. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this truth? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely, over, surely overtake them. And without fail, we cover all. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The first thing they supposed to have done is to require of the Lord. But the first thing they did was to cry. Amen? Was to cry. If they have done this, they wouldn't have been crying and thinking of stoning this guy. And in the inquire of the Lord. And when, they, in, when you ask, in the midst of that trouble, that heart problem, that kidney problem, that cancer in your body, that family issue, that marriage breakout, that challenge in your home, that sorrow and bitterness at home, in the midst of it, inquire of the Lord. Amen. Inquire of the Lord. Look, where am I missing it? What do you want me to do now? What is the way out of this trouble? When David 
inquire of the Lord. God didn't allow him to keep waiting. God answered him. When you inquire with all your heart, sincerity of your heart, you are genuine in your heart, God will always answer. Yeah. It may be through somebody. Maybe through you reading the Bible. Maybe through your, it will just minister to your heart. And just that impression will just come in your heart. Just know what to do. Amen. David inquired of the Lord. And God answered him. And he told him precisely what will happen. He told him, go, pursue. Surely you will overtake and recover all. Pursue. You will overtake and recover all. Pursue after them. You will overtake and recover all. Recover all. Recover all. Recover all. Recover all. Recover all. You are going to recover all the enemy has stolen from you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Everything he has stolen from you. Your glory. Your family. Everything will be recovered all. And when God turned the captivity of Zion, they were like, damn, that dream. He said, then our mouth shall fill with laughter. Our thought will sing it. And they say, among the evening, look, the Lord has done great things for them. And we will say, the Lord has done great things for us. Therefore, we rejoice. The Lord is pulling your capital out, Amen. changing your story. And your life will just be like colorful life. Oh, my goodness. You say, see what the Lord has done. This is the what Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in my sight. When this Lord is doing it, it's always marvelous. But when this man is full of struggle, challenge, trying, oh, not making it enough, because it's man. Man can do it and get it. But when God do it, it's marvelous. I want God to do it for me. So it can be marvelous in my own eyes myself. Yeah. It can be marvelous in my own eyes. Yeah. And everybody that you see, it, they will know that, oh, this is beyond you, boy. I know your capacity. I know your level. I know what you can do. You are not the one. I say, I know I'm not the one. He's the one that is doing me. I'm riding on the eagle's wing. I'm just riding on this one. I am not the one. Amen. I don't have the power to do it. I don't have the wisdom to do it. I don't have the connection to do it. Even though I don't look like it. But this is the one that is doing it. And it's not a respect of person. He choose to put me here and I, I take it. Amen. I take it. Amen. The Lord is doing it. He did it for David here. He told him, go. Pursue them. Don't worry. How far they have gone. No matter how far they have gone. I'm the one that is having the time. I control the speed. No matter how, how far they have gone, I am, so don't say, oh, these people are going ahead of me. I'm going to pursue them. No, life is not competition. No. So don't live like competition. Oh, you are competing with somebody else. Just live your life. Right. It's not competition. Amen? Amen. No matter how far they have gone, let them take for you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm not just coming alone. I'm coming with the host of heaven. Amen? Amen. I'm coming with the host of heaven. Because that with me, I'm more than that with the world. Right. I'm coming with better understanding of who I am in the Lord. I'm coming. I'm coming. Keep saying that. But keep going. Don't try to push somebody down. So if I'm being in their place, no, no, no. Or try to make somebody look bad. No. Just keep going. Keep going. He's the one that determines. Say you will pursue them. You will overtake them. And you are not just overtaking them, you are going to recover all. Oh! What did David do? Did David just sit down that God has promised us that we are going to recover all? So all is coming. We don't need to push you. We don't need to do anything. Say, so push you. You got to do something here. You cannot steer a stagnant car. Mm. You cannot steer a stagnant car. We are like a baby, a child play. It's like a child play. That's right. Mm, my mama, she can't play with my car. Mm, she used to play with small small car. Back, uh, back car in Africa when I was little. The party car. Mm, I just going somewhere. You're not going anywhere. Start my car. Mm, you're not going nowhere. You're just staying in it. So you have to make some hope. 
you began to take some steps in faith. And believe God is the one leading you. Because you are afraid. Amen. You Amen. take step of faith. And trust God that is the one guiding you. And trust him. If they don't know whether they're going north <coughs> or left or west or west. They don't know where they're going. They have to just start navigate. And as you are navigating, God will begin to show you sign. You are on the right path. And if you are not on the right path, it will guide you because you are doing it in faith. Amen? You can do things in faith that people will mock you for doing it. But God says, oh my goodness, I love what this boy is doing. And everybody in the world says you are bad. Amen? Amen. Everybody, including the pops. But you are navigating in faith. You are taking step of faith. You are taking giant step of faith. And people are mocking and saying someone else things about you. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. God sees faith. When God sees faith, he's stopping his legs. This boy is moving. He's moving in my direction. Yes. Joe is going around from Papa and Mother Bolivia. And as they are going, they met somebody on the way. And so they say, I saw them. They go this way. Now, go follow them. That's how God guided them. No, that's sitting there saying, oh, it's going to happen one day. No, it's not happening that way. God wants us to take step of faith. Faith without work is what is dead. Dead faith. Dead faith. No work. Dead. Dead. You will not produce. So why God dead is because you will not produce. You may have a good head. So just take some step. Have faith. Believe this is God leading me. This is God leading me. It's guiding me, guiding me in this direction. Leading me this path, and I'm following him. I'm following him. I'm following him. And as you do, you see your heart. Even when you make mistakes, following him in faith, you see your heart. You see your heart. If you're afraid to make mistakes, you fail in life. Amen? If you're afraid at all, I don't want to make mistakes. I don't No, You will fail in life. You will fail. If you're afraid to take steps, risk. Faith is risk and reward. We will learn in uh, economics. Risk and reward. Faith is risk and reward. If you are afraid to take risk, you will not get the reward that faith carries. To work with God, you must be able to take some risk and make some mistakes. And people mock you. No, you just not normal, normal. Part of life. People see a matter of things about you. You take the steps and keep going. And keep going. When you are going, God sees your heart and you are taking the step of faith. He sees it. He knows. He will rerouse you. He will right past the center of his will, center of his plan for our life. Let's continue the scripture. Verse 9. Yes. Verse 7. Verse 9. Verse 9. So David went. He and the six hundred men who mm. were with him, and emptied the broke uh, vessel, mm. were those days who were left behind. But David pursued mm. he and the four hundred men for two hundred stayed behind, who were so weary that they could not pass the broke vessel. Amen. Some of them said they are tired. I can't go. We can't go for this war. Only four hundred went. Let's continue. Amen. Then they found an Egyptian mm -hmm. in the field and brought him to David, and they gave him bread, and he ate. And they let him drink water, and they gave him a piece of a cake of fig, and two plaster of the raisin, raisin. So when he had eaten, his strength came back to him, for he had eaten no bread, uh, nor drunk water for three days. Mm -hmm. and Five three nights. Okay, that's what Then David mean. said to him, to whom do you belong, and where do you, where are you from? And he said, I'm a young man from Egypt, servant of Amalekite, and my master left me behind, because three days ago, I feel sick. We made an invasion of the southern area of the Caritas, and the territory which belongs to Judah, and of the southern area of the Caliph, and we burned this is the exact oh, people that went to go and burn their place. One of them, they left him behind. But David, when he's coming back, and David said to him, Can you take me down to this truth? So he said, Swear to 
me by God that you will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will take you down to this too. And when he had brought him <coughs> down, there, there they were spread out over all the land, eating and drinking and dancing because of the great spoil which they had taken from the land of the Palestines and from the land of Judah. Then David attacked them from twilight. Even the two lights mm -hmm. until the evening of the next day. Not a man of them ex escaped, except 400 young men who rode on camels and fled. So they lost nothing. No one person died among them. Let's continue. So David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives, and nothing of theirs was lacking. Either a small or great, sons or daughters, spoil or anything which they had taken away from them. They will recover them all. They will recover them all. He recover them all. The same way you are recovering them all. Nothing. So everything was covered by. He get them back. So that is your question this morning. Expect that to happen in your life this morning. Believe it. Believe it. You will recover all. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will recover all in the name of Jesus. Nothing, nothing will not be missing in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. He will Amen. guide you and lead you. He will guide you and lead you and help you Amen. to recover all and any stolen from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are recovering them all. It's getting better for you from henceforth. Amen. Things are working for you from henceforth. You are making progress from henceforth. No more better last year from henceforth. Oh, you know, say, oh, oh, the last year was better. Oh, good old days. No more. Amen? Amen. No more. It's going for, we are going forward. I'm making progress. Our life is going to show it. Amen. And we are serving God. Amen. Amen. Let's run out with this scripture from God's Word Translation, Ecclesiastes 7 -10. Ecclesiastes 17. I want God's word. Ecclesiastes 17. You have God's word? Somebody can read this one first. Read that one first. We can read God's word later. 17. Amen. Amen. Do not say. Why were the former days better than these? For you do not inquire wisely concerning this. Mm. Wisdom is good with an inheritance and, uh, and profit. No, 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 it's only 17. It said, don't say the former days are better than these. That's not what, that's wisdom. That's not wisely saying. That's a foolish saying. The Christian is after Proverbs. 17. God's word translation. Don't ask. Don't ask. Why were things better in the old days? Why were things better in the old days? Than they are now. Than they are now. Is it wisdom? That is not wisdom. It's that what is foolishness. That leads you to ask. It's not wisdom that leads you to ask that question. It's foolishness. Oh, things were better before. I remember good old days. We used to eat. Good meal in Egypt, in slavery. Now that you're not free, you are remembering good old days in Egypt. No more. It's not wisdom that lead you to say that. The things are getting better. I'm making progress. No good old days. Amen? No good old days. No matter things you have enjoyed before, there are no works more than what God will do in your life very soon. Amen. So your, your better days ahead. Amen. Amen. Better days ahead. Amen. No matter what you have been doing before, wealth, anointing, glory, better days ahead. Amen. 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 Better days ahead. Better days ahead. Better days ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are going to take this thing with your mouth and recover it all. Declare it. Tell with your mouth. I will justify it. With your mouth. I will condemn you. Let's use our own mouth and declare I've been justified. Amen. 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 Declare I'm recovering her. Whatever enemy has stolen from me, open open someone and read it over your own life. 
Amen. The Lord is turning my captivity around. Yes. In the name of Jesus. When the Lord turned the captive of Zion, we were like, tell that dream. I'm about to enter into my dream land. Amen. Amen. That everything around me will look like I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. And I want to wake up. I said, this is not a dream. Oh, it's a reality. Oh, I thought it's a dream. I thought I'm still dreaming. I thought it's a dream. You are dreaming. You don't want to wake up. You see that it's real life. And when you wake up, you say, oh, Lord, where am I? This is not real. Amen. Amen. Dreaming is dream. Amen. We are about to enter. I'm beginning to declare what I said. I'm entering my dream life. I'm entering my dream life. That word is coming to pass in my life. When the Lord comes to the captive of Zion, we are like them that dream. Their yes. mouth shall fill with laughter. Our tongue will sing him. And they say, I want the eating the Lord has done great things for us. So the testimony that God will do for me, I will not be the only one sharing it. You have been sharing it for me before I even open my house. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Things begin to happen in our life that will look like a dream man. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are entering that. Yes. And God is turning our life around. Amen. He's turning our life around. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We receive, we receive, we receive it all. We receive this word this morning. Yes. We receive this word this morning. Yes. 